Hey everyone, got a big event coming up? Prom, graduation, a wedding? Well, whatever it is, I'm gonna show you how to prep during the week for that big event. Let's start off with Monday by repairing your skin. Tame your acne by keeping it in check. If you're breaking out from stress, use eye drops to reduce acne redness. It contains anti-inflammatory agents and constrict the blood vessels, so say goodbye to redness. Bye! Now, if you really wanna help reduce acne, try my favorite trick, the aspirin mask. Try a non-coated aspirin tablet or my favorite, powdered aspirin and mix it up with water until it turns into a paste. Wait five minutes and rinse it off. Your skin is gonna feel like butter and your acne will fade away. Tuesday and Wednesday should be the days to brighten your skin. I like to use the lemon scrub to brighten the skin. Just take a slice of lemon, dip it in sugar and exfoliate your skin with this. Lemon has active ingredients that will help brighten and lighten your skin while the sugar will help exfoliate any dead skin cells on your face. Just make sure to do this at night or try your best to avoid direct sunlight right after doing this. Once you're done, just rinse everything off and your face should feel refreshed and smooth. If you have oily skin, no worries. Use a peeling mask or egg whites. Applying a peeling mask on your skin will help draw out any impurities and excess oil from your skin. Peeling masks are always fun because it goes on gooey, then it dries to a point where you can't even move your face, and then when you're peeling it off, it's the weirdest, most satisfying feeling. Your skin will feel squeaky clean. Make sure to always give your skin some love by nurturing it. I do this by applying collagen mask on my face. These masks are amazing and they always come to the rescue for me, especially when my skin is feeling a bit dry and dull. Applying these babies on is like the equivalent of going to a facial spa without the big bucks. Now, just relax. And this part is always awkward because you look like you're about to kill someone. Wait 10 minutes and then remove. Rub whatever is left over on your face and neck. This is something you should be doing every day, moisturizing your skin. If you want healthy skin, you gotta feed it with good stuff. If you think you're too young to use any anti-aging products, think again. Part of slowing the aging process down is preventing at an early age. That means using sunscreen and finding good, effective products that helps produce more collagen and reduce wrinkles. It's always best to use an eye cream to moisturize your eyes. The reason why is because the under eyes are so delicate and you don't want to slather on random stuff under your eyes. Try your best every night to pamper your skin with your best skincare products. When you're sleeping, your body is repairing itself, especially your skin. So this is a time to use special skincare products, especially products that contains retinol. Retinol is the purest form of vitamin A, and this will help the skin produce more collagen, thus giving your skin a more youthful texture. I'm using a skincare line called Rock, where you can buy from any drugstores. Ever heard of peach fuzz? It's a girly version of a mustache. Yes, we all have it, it's perfectly normal, but if you want an easy way to reduce the appearance of it, just bleach it by using facial hair bleach. Monday through Friday, this is a good time to whiten your smile. You don't want to do any last minute things to whiten your teeth. Your teeth are also very delicate. So try your best to whiten them by doing it slowly. Wednesday is a great day to groom your brows because you don't want to pluck or wax your brows the night before the event. The reason why is because your skin might get red from irritation. Give your skin some time to heal. It's Friday! Goodbye hairy legs! It's a good day to remove any unwanted hair. If you do it anytime sooner, your leg hair might grow back a little too soon. I know mine grows back two days later. It gets all prickly and stuff. I know, TMI.
Don't forget to use aloe gel on your legs right after waxing. This will help soothe your skin after the painful waxing. Friday is also a good day to bring on the sun. Use any self tanners the day before the event. Exfoliate and remove any hair from your legs first. Then apply the formula and wait a few minutes for the color to develop. This is a great way to bring color to your legs without visiting the beach. Some extra tips, find a good deodorant or antiperspirant product. If you tend to have body odor, use deodorant. If you sweat a lot, use an antiperspirant product. Try and find a product that's long lasting, especially if you plan on dancing the night away. Don't forget to hydrate your hair throughout the week by using a leave-in conditioner. Last but not least, find beauty inspiration from everywhere. Try the makeup looks at home during the week before the event. Finding inspiration will help you get that perfect look for that big day. And that's it. The most important thing of all is to have fun. Alright, so I hope whatever big event you have coming up goes according to plan. If all else fails, just smile. Life is too short to worry about one event because you're going to have many more to look forward to. Good luck. Make sure to stop by my channel next week for more prom and graduation makeup tutorials. Bye!